Hey, how's it going? This is Todd with Film Bodega, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use our 6K fog assets inside of Adobe After Effects. Now, you could use these fog assets in any nonlinear video editing application like Premiere or Final Cut Pro, things like that, but I highly recommend trying to use these mostly in compositing software like After Effects, Fusion, Nuke, all that kind of stuff. And so uh, once you import all of your fog assets into uh, After Effects, you'll see we kind of have them all labeled and they all sort of have a little bit of a descriptor about what you can expect when you click on them. I kind of recommend just sort of clicking around and getting a feel for which ones you think uh, you'll find the most use for. So we have this little scene, this kind of flickery, sort of grungy horror type scene. And, uh, you know, it looks cool, but, you know, it, I think we could add a little bit more atmosphere to it. So in this scene, we have this sort of bright light in the top. It's like a flickery fluorescent fixture kind of thing. So it would make sense that, you know, maybe there's some atmosphere in the room. It's coming from up here. Uh, so let's kind of click around and see if we can find a good element that we could use. Now, this one is kind of prominent down in the lower part of the frame. So if we kind of wanted to make it look like someone was maybe smoking a cigar in the room or something like that. That might be kind of cool. Let's see. Let's see if we can find one that looks like, well, glow. Glow might work. This is kind of a nice little part of this uh, clip here that I think almost looks pretty much exactly like what we're going for. So um, I'm gonna drag that into the scene here and uh, we'll, we'll make sure that we put it below any sort of adjustment layers or any sort of effects that might be affecting the contrast and color that'll help it kind of merge into the world of the scene here. But, you know, as you can see, for one, we're way too big. So if we sc scroll out and, uh, you know, as you'll see, we're, we're in a 1920 by 1080 comp and this is some 6K fog footage. So I'm gonna hit the S key for scale and we're just gonna hold down control and drag until we get something that looks correct. And actually, before I do any of that, I, you know, need to remember we are uh, doing this in 3D. So I'm going to hit the 3D button. So right now there's a light in the scene. Um, so this is a pre-built scene and it has a light in it. So what that light is going to do once I ch change it to 3D is it's going to actually light our fog asset. So that might be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on the, the, the look you're going for. But first off, we need to use a blending mode to kind of remove all of the black in our fog asset. So I'm going to click on our fog here and click on this little drop down right here. And here we'll have quite a few different options. Now we could play with some weird stuff like the hard mode. Um, you, you could you could play with some of these other modes to get some you know weird kind of effects and things like that. It might it might work in your particular scene, but for the most part, with these types of assets, we're going to either use add or screen mode. Now, add is going to give you a little bit more punch, and screen is going to look a little bit more natural. So I'm actually going to use screen, and that's usually what I do with most of these kind of cases. Now, here's without the fog and here's with it added. Now that looks pretty cool right off the bat. So say we wanted to not have the light affect our fog asset here. Well, what you could do is click on this little drop down here and we'll go to the material options. And here we actually have a toggle accepts lights. We could just set that to off. And so now you can see that we're, we're not lighting the fog asset. Now it's just spreading across the entire scene, okay? Now, you know, it, it might actually look a little bit cooler to leave that on, but just for the sake of, uh, you know, the lesson here, let's turn it off. Now, what I want to do is kind of mask off only this portion of our fog asset. So that's pretty easy to do. We're going to click on our fog element here and we're going to go to the pen tool up here at the top. Now we're going to start clicking and draw a shape and it's going to create a mask on this layer. Okay, so here we go. Got our little mask now. We've masked out our fog. And so now you can see this hard edge, but we're gonna select our fog element. We're gonna hit the F key. And that's gonna bring up the mask feather options. And actually, instead of that, let's hit the M key twice. And we'll have all of our mask parameters right here. And we're gonna feather this out quite a bit. Probably, let's try it. Let's just start with like 450, a pretty high number. And actually, I think we can go even a little further with that. You just kinda wanna feather it until it looks like a natural fall off. And so here we go. Now we've got a nice looking fall off, but I also, I think I kind of want um, maybe a little bit more expansion on the mask. So what that's going to do is it's going to take this line here and, you know, move it in or out depending on what you set. So I'm going to drag that up a little bit just to kind of expand it out so that we have a little bit more of a natural fade on this part. 
And let's even, let's just keep going crazy with that feather. And so here's what we've got right now. It's looking pretty, pretty cool. Um, I think I would probably, you know, further mask out this uh, little wispy piece here because I just kind of like the subtle sort of glowing and you actually even see some dust in that element just from, you know, in the room. And it just adds a lot of really sort of natural atmosphere to this graphic here. And there's a lot of different stuff you could do to elements like this in After Effects. If you wanted to change the color, you could just go to Effect, Color Correction, and then maybe grab like a hue and saturation effect. And you could change the hue of the fog there. If you wanted to make it, you know, kind of a crazier color, drag up the saturation or maybe even just use the uh, colorize toggle here and just make it like, you know, crazy green or something like that. There's a lot of cool stuff you could do. And let's say you wanted this to look even more subtle in this main graphic here. So I'm going to select our footage here and I'm going to go to color correction curves. And if you just drag down this little middle bit here, you'll effectively be changing the opacity, but you'll just get a little bit more of a natural fall off. But let's say you wanted to keep those little wispy bits and sort of crunch down the glowy part a little bit. You could just make a uh, little, you can make a little node on the top part of the curve here and, you know, drag down on a node on the bottom part. And so now we're kind of just isolating these wispy parts a little bit more. And I think that looks pretty cool.